joined again by Richard Southern to chat about some of the day's more offbeat stories. And we begin with what's lurking in our wallets. So they did a study, Melissa, of um, the world's uh, 20 biggest currencies. They took the banknotes, the bills, and mm -hmm. they swabbed them, the scientists, and they looked at, at which ones were the dirtiest. And you know what they found, Melissa? What did they find? Canada. Oh, oh we no. got the filthiest money. That's disgusting. Gross. Okay, Canada right. <laughs> I know Canada ranked number one. Uh, on average, they found 209 bacterial colonies living on our fives and our tens and our twenties. And the most common bacteria found causes urinary tract infections and ah. fungal infections. The Brazilian, the Brazilian currency, the real, was second. The United States dollar, the third most dirty is currency. Yeah, it's gross, but it's like <laughs> I mean. With the pandemic now, I don't carry money anymore. I mean, no, it's, either is this do really I. a worry for us now anymore? You know, I, I don't carry you know, money so like, either, but be dirty. I feel like you need to like carry around hand sanitizer like even more so, knowing this piece of information, how disgusting our money is. But hey. Or maybe start laundering your money, not the bad laundering, <laughs> but the actual washing anyways. <laughs> All right, now bars <laughs> have been closed for several months here in Toronto, but now there's a new way to recreate one unique part of that experience right at home. Yeah, tell me if you'd want one of these. This is a little weird. So Miller Lite, the beer company, they're out with scented candles now that smell like your favorite bars. Oh, um, <laughs> so okay. There's three. Yeah, no, because a lot of bars I frequent or used to frequent didn't smell very good. No. Okay? I was kind of a dive bar guy, you know. <laughs> they actually have a candle called Dive Bar, which they so, says uh, say smells like musk, tobacco, pine, and yeast. There's a game day bar scent. Smells like peanut butter, jalapeno, and cracked leather, and a beer garden one that smells like moss and warm pretzel. I think we've got to take a hard pass on this one, don't you think? I, I think so, unless they had one that smelled like chicken wings and nachos, and maybe I might be down. I don't know, but... I, I, not, I don't really like yeah. any of those. No, we'll pass on that. Yeah. <laughs> now puzzles have become quite popular during this pandemic, but one man has taken things to a whole new level here. So, are you into these? A lot of people over the past year have told me I'm, I'm hooked on puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. Is that? Are you one of these people? I have not dabbled yet personally, but I have also heard from other people too that it's like this new big thing that people are doing uh, throughout the pandemic. Yeah. Well, this guy loves it. I want to show you this dude. Now, he's from, he's uh, uh, out of Germany, and he has put together here, and we're going to look at it, the largest uh, jigsaw, <laughs> jigsaw puzzle ever, 54,000 some pieces. It's eight and a half meters long, two meters high, and this guy, he's uh, like completely hooked on jigsaw puzzles. He says, he estimates in his life, he's put uh, half a million puzzle pieces together. Wow. Now, this is a bit of a problem when you when you get hooked like that. Don't you think it's all fun and games for us when we're doing our jigsaw puzzles? This guy is a bit of an issue, I think, Melissa. That's, it seems a little hardcore, that's for sure. <laughs> and um, I think he might have a lot of time on his hands, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't have time for jigsaw puzzles. It seems. I mean, no. I'm too busy, you know, uh, putting my puzzles of my life together. I don't have time for this sort of stuff. But do each his own. Melissa. Yeah, I know. I totally agree with you. Well, thank you so much, Richard. We shall see you tomorrow. Have a good one. You too.